Hello everybody, welcome back to Back Out of Case. This is Sky Flight 44, aka Zach 44, and today we're gonna continue to play and finish off Donkey Kong Land 2. Next time we're gonna be doing Donkey Kong Land 3, and I cannot wait for that. Now, as you can see by my uh how well I'm playing it, I went nuts with this actual stage. I went nuts with this world. The actual level of difficulty is the hardest here and it shows and it's amazing and so much fun to play it's a good really really good feeling when you finish these stages off I the jungle levels are very much the creme de la creme of this actual game amazing what they actually expect you to do. And not to mention, I, I said this before, Donkey Kong Land 3 kind of has a disappointing Lost World because it really wasn't the hardest. I got through them without getting hit rather easily. Some of them only took me like 20 minutes to do. Some even less, maybe 15. But, oh well, I guess it's more levels in that one. But, here we are with the last actual uh, five levels of the game. It's just these three, one uh, Lava World, one and one Arctic one, which is pretty... Yeah. I, I like all the levels in this one. But this actual, uh, the jungle levels, are just... They have the Stick of Brush Symphony music, they have great actual level of statics. They're difficult to go and play. Great platforming. If it wasn't for the fact that I really, really like the uh, swamp levels, I would definitely say they're my favorite. Now, this one shows off the scrolling problem I have with this game. I'm going to be showing you uh, not the fastest way to beat this one, but I'm going to show you how daring you can be when it comes to the levels and basically going through the levels, uh, or going through this level, how daring you can be without necessarily losing uh, a life by dying from the game not scrolling fast enough. Because if there's one level that shows it, this one shows it. Oh, sometimes I just... <laughs> the memories are all flooding back now. This... I like the level, I really do, but... If this was only on the Game Boy Color. And again, this pushes the Game Boy to its limits. And I love that for it. But uh, the SNES version, I'm glad, does not have this problem at all. Because I think it was also a uh, downward uh, slope going um, oh, going downwards. All I can really say about the direction. It's really not all that difficult of a level. Trying to not die from that or the zingers isn't all that difficult. Um, the zinger placement and the crazy closer level was far worse when it came to going in, you know, avoiding zingers. Or even the parachute level was harder than that level was when it came to, um, when it came to trying not to get hit by the zingers. Ah, this. This is one you're gonna want Dixie for. I don't necessarily really care too much for these, uh, well, this stage in particular. Out of all of the Lost World stages, probably my least favorite, hands down. And while I didn't have the most fun playing it, it's definitely the one in which I abuse Dixie and her, you know, and her gliding the most. Just because it's so much faster, so much easier. And, to be honest, this level's boring. I don't 
really care too much for him. But, uh, yeah, Squirt is back. Uh, I guess that helps, but, oh well. Oh, that was another thing I actually had to do. If you've noticed, my lives have reset. I also, you know, don't have any of my, um, banana coins. Or bonus? Not yeah, I think they're just banana coins. Uh, the next game is bear coins. But, um, and, and I, I think it was this part, this level, I had to go and, um, it was either this level or the level beforehand that I might have saved the save state within the level itself, which was bad for me, and I had to go and basically restart the, uh, not restart it, but um, I had to save it, then leave, then come back for some reason, I don't really remember. But it definitely kind of sucked for me. I did want to go with one natural without needing to really save more than once. But oh well. The uh, next actual stage is the. Um, it's not the. Yeah, Clobber Carnage. I thought it was Clobber. These are. Wait, are Clobbers even in this game? Okay, I think the Clobbers are. Oh yeah, that's what clobbers are. I was um, thinking of the coins from uh, the next uh, game. The coin dozer stage was what I was immediately thinking of. I, I guess it's the uh, the yellow green tint that's kind of getting to me. But oh well, this is another fun stage to go just straight balls to wall as fast as possible. It's a lot of fun. Not to mention some of the things you can do with the uh, jumping chains. As I said before, I had a lot of fun playing with this one. And this is this is definitely the world in which I started trying to get good takes. Really, really good takes. Fast takes, too. Uh, with these levels. And I think it shows most in the jungle levels. But, the jungle levels will come back in Donkey Kong Country 3, and so Donkey Kong Land 3, but I never really liked them. Uh, these ones are the only ones I actually think are a whole lot of anything interesting, to be honest. Uh, the ones in the original game, while not bad, just boring. Uh, when you play a game enough, a lot of the, um... A lot of the earlier stages generally tend to be boring. Except maybe something like um, Sonic stages. Uh, Sonic level design and just the, you know, the fact that it relies, you know, primarily on speed. Uh, as, you know, you're trying to complete the levels as fast as possible. Keeps the earliest levels from being boring by wanting, encouraging you to speedrun them as fast as you possibly can. Now I try and off-screen that one so I can get another one so I can get that G. You have to jump on that one for it. And it's actually rather easy to either miss it or, um, let's just say jump in to the, um, Actual stupid, uh, flutter. Because I have jumped into the flutter and had to restart it. Now this is Animal Antics. If you wanted... To... Animal Antics is not Animal Antics on the SNES version. This is much easier. And it's actually rather refreshing. I think the last stage was the hardest stage in the game. Either that or... No, actually, Clobber Connor is probably the hardest one for me. Well, other than Bramble Scramble, Bramble Scramble took me the longest time to actually get a good take. But, um... This one's pretty easy. This The Squitter part of it is kind of boring. But, uh, the Squitter, uh, part of it's 
probably the hardest, I gotta admit. There is no Squatch part of it. There's just Ratley uh, and Rambi along with Squirtle. Squirtle's... At least once you get off of Squirtle uh, and Squirtle's platforming, at least, these little areas are actually a little bit fun. Though difficult with those hopping uh, Kremlins. Those uh, hopping Kremlins are really tough to uh, navigate with when it comes to... Uh, what was it called? Squirtle. The squad is not good for platforming and reacting and dodging, especially. But oh well, oh, hey, another squad thingy. Now, one of the things I don't really like about Donkey Kong Country, not Donkey Kong Country 3, but Donkey Kong Land 3, is the fact that some of the bonus levels just. I feel tend to be more dickish than they have a right to be sometimes. Granted, I do like the fact that uh, the Donkey Kong Land 3 bonus stages tend to be harder than the ones in Donkey Kong Land 2. And, uh, not necessarily one. One, those grinder things. Ugh. <laughs> um, that's all I have to say. But, uh, Donkey Kong Land 2's bonus stages aren't all that really difficult. Except maybe some of them that you can actually come across in, uh, The Lost World. Those can, you know, put some... <laughs> put some fear into you. But other than that, it's pretty easy. And that's it. Without ever having a Squox area, because they can't change from one area to another. That's it for that level. Now we we'll, uh, we have, a uh, Crocodile Core. Crocodile Core is the final boss, except finaler, I guess. Um, he doesn't actually do much in this one, except what we've already seen. A bit harder, maybe, but um, what you actually want to do is wait him out until the very end where he'll uh, drop one barrel. Uh, let's see. Oh, look! There's actually one of those, uh, barrels. I didn't know that was gonna happen. Oh, yeah. This is probably one of the ones that... These bouncing ones really unnerve me the most. When I think about it. Just because... Oh, oh yeah, this one. Oh, yeah, this one. You have to jump right as it's trying to fall, so that um, you can actually jump over it, and you still have enough height when it's coming up. And at the very end... Bye-bye, K-Rule. And we don't even have to jump for that one. But that looks nice. Donkey's back with the rest of them, the rest of the gang. For the second time, I don't know why Donkey went back to being captured again. Mario is now second fiddle to Diddy. Yoshi's still over there, not paying attention to anybody else. And we get the credits. I gotta admit, I still absolutely adore this game. Donkey Kong Land 3 is nearly just as good. I suddenly really want to play Donkey Kong Country 3 and beat that um, in its entirety again, mainly because of that game. Not so. See if I can finally enjoy the music. But love this one. Love this credits theme. And I think the idea of Donkey Kong Land was to get Donkey Kong Country on the game board. I've said this plenty of times. And I believe, so believe, that this is the game they wanted to do. This is the feeling they wanted to have. This is Donkey Kong Country on the Game Boy. And without actually being a straight port, because it's not a straight port, the level design is different. I feel this game holds up to the rest of them. 
granted, it doesn't beat something like Donkey Kong Country or Donkey Kong Country 2. But these games, barring Donkey Kong Land, Donkey Kong Land is definitely the worst of the bunch. I do believe these games share a place on the same shelf that the other Donkey Kong Country games are. That's just my opinion. Granted, I've also, the first actual Donkey Kong Country games I've played were the Donkey Kong Land series. The first ones I've seen were the entire Donkey Kong Land series. What made me want to play the Country games were the Donkey Kong Land series. So I might have a little bit of nostalgia, but I, I, I think my theory, well, my opinion, uh, holds a bit of water. Oh well. I'm just gonna allow you to listen to the rest of this music. I have nothing more to say. See ya everybody. Next time we play Donkey Kong Land 3.